Hi everyone, welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. My name is Gina Pike. I'm so very happy that you're here with me today. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit uh, different. We haven't done one of these in a while. I believe it's been about a couple of months actually. We're going to be doing a vlog update um, and this is where I share what I'm currently working on and I ask you guys if you want to participate to put down in the comments below what you guys have been working on this summer, this spring and summer. Since it's been a while, let me know what you're working on or if you're starting to think about Christmas items to be start making because it is Christmas in July. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you might be thinking about making for Christmas if you're going to be doing that. Um, I just kind of do a little bit of a catch up here because we've been doing a lot of mystery knit alongs. Um, it's been a while since we shared with each other what we've been making. Um, uh, let's see. The first thing I'm going to share with you is... Um, you guys know I've been working on the Miss May M. Cal Mystery Shawl Knit Along. Um, I've been get, doing pro project updates, clue updates. I have about 40 people in this group here, in the Knitting Turnpike group, that is knitting this with me. Um, I'll just give you a brief glimpse. This is after clue four. This is uh, what it's looking like. My four, This is my four color shawl. And we have one more clue left. And this is to celebrate May Morris. If you want more information about this, please go check out my all my other videos. I have a getting started video. You can participate in the uh, giveaway I'm having for those who participate in the make along with me um, by sharing your project with me and stuff. Uh, go check out all those videos if you are interested in that. Um, by doing all these updates and seeing everybody's projects, it has been... Um, very tempting for me to cast on another shawl and I did cast on another shawl just this morning. Um, this is uh, going to be in a gradient yarn and this is the start of it. This is through like charts two or I think chart, I think I'm on chart two. So I'm just getting started. Like I said, I just got started. I've been working on it like a, a couple of hours and um, I'm using a gradient yarn from Hobie. This is Hobie Twister, which is a cotton acrylic blend. It's 55% cotton, 43% acrylic, and this one is actually a glitter yarn, so it's got a, about 4%, um, well, it's got 4% polyester and then some glitter. This color is called Cabaret, uh, color number uh, 41 from Hobie. I'll put a link to their website if you're interested, but I'm excited about doing a gradient and letting the yarn do all the color changes instead of Whereas I had four colors for this one and did the breaks and doing the color blocking and stuff. So I'm excited to do that. I've been seeing other people do some gradients um, or just single color shawls and they look really beautiful. So I just couldn't resist it. I decided to go, go ahead and cast on another one. And uh, since that's going to be running to the end of August, I should have plenty of time to get that knitted up if I do a little bit every week. Um, the second thing I've been working on is um, a top. I've shown this in my live shows before. This is the Secure, Sakura Top Pattern by Knitting for Breakfast. Uh, I think the last time I showed it, I had just uh, broke, uh, the, broke it into the front and back and the sleeves. Um, this is what it's looking like. Um, here, I believe this is the front. As you can see, it's got um, this yarn. the yarn I'm using is Juniper Farm Zoe yarn. It's a 60% cotton, 40% linen blend, and the color is 15. It's 284 yards, uh, 260 meters, uh, 400 grams. It's like a DK weight yarn, and it's kind of a thick and thin kind of a yarn. Some parts are thicker than some parts are thinner as you go along. It makes a very kind of stiff fabric, but I know that linen is supposed to soften up the more you wash it and wear it. But as you start, you start here at the top, and it's seamlessly knit, which I really like. And you can see it has this lace pattern that starts at the top, and then you break it. I mean, will you break it with a stockinette, and then you go into this other lace pattern right there at the yoke. And then you break it for the sleeves, or divide it for the sleeves. And then you do a little bit of stockinette, as you can see. 
and then you do that lace pattern repeats of stockinette and the lace and you use the first lace that you had at the top and supposedly you're supposed to be able to um, do this and this repeat and that would be enough for my top but that when I look at that that is not enough for me I still need about that much more at the bottom of my top for me to be comfortable to wear it <laughs> Uh, so I'm probably going to have to do about two more repeats of this lace section, lace stockinette alternation sections. And it said you could make it longer if you want to do that. Um, see, I started my third repeat. And I'm, I'm probably, like I said, I'm thinking probably have to do a, a third repeat and then a fourth repeat. So we'll just see how long it is after that. And of course, I can block it out some, but I do not want this to be too small. Um, I am using a size, a size smaller needle because my knitting is really is loose to get gauge that I needed to get. Um, I had to use a US 3 to knit that. Um, okay, so that's the second thing I've been working on here and there. I get uh, easily distracted by doing just straight stockinette, so the lace really does help break it up. Um, the monotony of that for me, it's just the way I guess I'm wired or something. I don't know, but um, I have a hard time just sitting there doing straight knit um, row after row after row. All right, so give me one second, let me get this situated. I don't like the way that's looking. All right, so that's the second thing I've been working on. The third thing I've been working on is I showed you guys the start of this and I did a stitch tutorial for this. I also did a stitch tutorial for the Miss May shawl. If you guys are, this is your first video, and you're just seeing that. Um, there is a stitch tutorial. I will link it down below. It helps you get started, and it shows you how to do all the stitches in that shawl. Well, I also did the same thing for this shawl I'm about to show you. Uh, this is another mystery shawl knit along. It's a three-color shawl. It is being hosted this summer by Bev Johnson, who is Boo Knits. She's... I've done a lot of her patterns. Most of them are very lacy bead, beaded shawls. Now this one is not so. It is a little bit different. It's, this is our summer mystery knit along and um, three colors, not using all three. Well, it's three skeins of fingering weight yarn. You're not gonna use all three skeins. You're gonna have quite a bit left over. Um, I'm doing this in shades of blue and this is called About Time. Um, I will link all the information to this down below. Again, I did a stitch tutorial for this as well if you're interested in getting started. Her um, Mystery and Shawl Knit Alongs run very quickly. Like um, the last time I talked to you guys about this with the stitch tutorial, I was on clue one or two, one. So I'm going to be showing you today clues two, three, and four. And this week, clues five and six will release and that'll be it. There's only six clues of this. So this is going to finish up the clues this week so maybe by next weekend I'll be finished with this I'm not really sure but this is a, a shallow crescent shaped shawl so it's kind of long and not very deep and let me hold it this way Let's see if I can do it this way this is how it, it started it started here at the top um, I'm using three skeins of Madeline Tosh Tosh Marina light um, that's uh, sold by Jimmy Bean Wool uh, this is blue stow, this dark blue. Uh, this blue is called Blue Nile. And then this lighter blue is called Tranquil Tahoe. And I haven't used very much of that third color. There is a row here that you can see that has a little bit of some uh, slip stitch knitting there for that third color and then that one row right there. So I'm hoping this next, next clue will bring some more of that third color in. But you can see it's a lot of very straight knitting as well, stockinette knitting, which is not my thing. But um, but the second panel was really cool. We did these little panels here, which either they look like flowers. Some people, I think they look like maybe like trees if you turn them this way. This was clue two, maybe kind of like trees or blue bonnets. Blue bonnets for mine since it's all blue. And then it brought in, then you, that was clue two, and then you brought in this, uh, this third color here for clue three. It went from in here to here down to here where this third color was. And then clue four just started, and it was another 
panel, lacy panel with that second color. Sorry, this is hard to hold. I should have pinned it out maybe. Maybe you can see some of the lace on this. And I'll hold it back. But that's, it's another kind of a flowery, lacy panel. And then it ends with some striping from colors one and two. Let's see if I can hold this back so you can see. But that's the, the width of it and the colors. This is called About Time. So it's got a lot of stockinette stitch, crescent crescent shaped shawl um, with lace. Bev Johnson boot knits. And that was through clue four. There's two more clues and then it'll be finished. So probably finish it up by next weekend. Um, let's see, the other thing I've been trying to get to, you guys know I've been wanting to do more wearables this year. So I have a whole stack of tops over here that I'm trying to get made. Uh, there is a new make along I want to mention to you guys. Uh, this is from uh, Casa Pinka. She has a new top pattern out called Shaven Ice Top. It's a very cute little top. It's got a little V-neck. It's got, uh, you can make it with four colors. I believe that's what it says. Or you can do a fade. Yeah, made with four colors. You can do a solid color. It's a cool summer top. It has a lot of lace. Um, a little bit of texture and a pretty v-neck. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that you begin this top at the bottom. I've always, I haven't done a lot of wearables. All the wearables I have done, I've done these kind of yoke seamless type patterns where I start at the top. And I, I like to do that because you can try it on as you go along. Like for this one, if I had made it just a pattern, it would have been just under my chest. Uh, and since I could put it up to me and kind of try it on, I knew I needed to make it longer by starting at the bottom. I don't know how that's going to work for me, but um, let's see. This one does start at the bottom. There are videos for techniques you need. I'll put all the, link all the information below. And as I'm talking about this, I'm putting pictures over my uh where I can to show you guys what it looks like. Um, you need, depending on the size, you're going to make two, three, four, five skeins of fingering weight yarn. Um, and she uses a superwash, 100% superwash merino. Now, I have this yarn in my stash. I actually have, I had three of these kits. I used one of the kits, or partial of a kit, for a, another Casa Pinka shawl. I'll try to put a picture here. It was the Perfect Blend Shawl a while back. And I asked the forum in the Casa Pinka forum if they thought that this fade set would be good for this shave and ice top. And two people were like, yes, yes, yes. So I have three of these. This is from Andrea Maori. It's Andrea's pick. And uh, it was um, made by um, Hugh Loco. Hugh Loco designed this for Andrea Maori. And this is kind of what the yarns look like. You can see it starts with a, it's got pinks and yellows and creams, and then it goes into a darker pink, and then it goes into these beautiful grays. It's just, it's just a fade set. And again, I have like, I had three of these, um, and I've got two full sets remaining. So I think I have plenty to make a top and then some. So I'm thinking about using this yarn for that top. And I just want to mention it, if it might be something you might be, want, want to do, it is currently going on right now. If you are interested in making more wearables, it is a paid pattern. I believe it costs, it costs you a $7 right now. So that's something I'm trying to get started on my needles. Uh, the other thing is the Bloomsbury crochet top. I've shown you guys this. I'll show you, I've done little swatches. Uh, the yarn I'm going to be using is the Lichen and Lace. This is a crochet top pattern. I, I found this top in the Interweave Crochet Magazine from 2013, and I've wanted to make this top since I saw that in that magazine. This is a yarn from Lichen and Lace. You can see it's beige, and it's got pops of colors. This is called Pressed Flowers Lichen and Lace. It's 100% Superwash Merino. It's got purple and yellow and pinks and blues and orange in it. So it'll just be kind of a beige with little, all kinds of little pops of color in it. I've got like five skeins of yarn here, which should be plenty um, to do a top, a crochet top. And I hope to get started on that and work on that and do a little crochet top here for summer, um, which will be nice. And again, that's Tammy Hildebrand is the designer for that one. 
The other two top patterns that I want to make this year um, or get started, one is the Seven Seas Top by Ann B. Hansen. Um, it's a really cute little top-down, little lace yoke top. I'm thinking about using maybe a dye dye and a dye yarn in um, uh, maybe. Uh, I think that's what I slated for it. Yep, I'm thinking about maybe using a dye dye and a dye yarn and a flaxen silk blend. Fla a flaxen a, a linen, a flaxen linen blend with a little bit of silk. And um, so I'm hoping I can maybe get that one going as well. And then the last top pattern I really want to make this year is the Serafina top pattern. I've shown you guys all of these before. I just want to get them going. Um, this is a, also a top down design, but it starts off a little bit differently because the shoulder, those lacy shoulder panels are worked first. Um, and then you have to uh, pick up stitches for the upper back and upper front and go from there and connect it out. So it'll be a little bit of an interesting design. The yarn I thought about using for this is a, is a yarn from Amanda Hope. Um, and I've shown you guys this before. It's called Gris Graffiti. Gr Gris Graffiti. It's a gray base yarn with a little bit of pops of color in it. Um, so I'm hoping I can get that going as well. So those are the some, some things I want to work on. Some some more of those wearables I've told you guys about that I really want to do. Um, and the other thing that's happening too is this week I should be getting my next installment on the Rami Hill Lace Livers Club shawl. Uh, there's three shawls this year. I've shown you guys one of them. I made the tone poem, that big rose-colored shawl you've seen back here. Um, that was the first installment, so I should be getting in the mail the second pattern and yarn uh, this week. So I'll be trying, tempted to put that on the needles as well, and then um, I'll be showing you guys that, and I'll probably do a stitch tutorial for that. Those will release in 2023, but I'm excited to get that and work on that a little bit as well. Um, let's see, and then the last thing I really want to do, get up back on my needles, is I want to get back to some socks. I haven't really worked on them. I, I, I'd started some, I had wound some yarn for some socks to do some vanilla socks. And I just haven't gotten to it and I think I need to get on it. This is using turtle pearl, um, self striping turtle toes. And this is a called the brew. This is a Halloween. This would be, you know, if I can get it going, we can get them done by the time in Halloween for Halloween. These are the cute little Halloween colors with a little orange mini for the, uh, heel and toe so and maybe the cuff so I think that'd be really cute I just need to try to get going on that um, if I can here's the label for turtle pearl um, they have an Etsy store and it's a really gorgeous yarns I've given a lot of the those yarns away on my my um, YouTube channel here but I want to get those going as well and that's just been sitting over there waiting for me to get those cast on so how about you? What are you guys currently going to be working on to finishing up your summer? Like I said, are you going to be starting some Christmas projects? Um, what are some things you'd like to do if you haven't gotten to it? Or what are some things you're working on? I'd love to know. Let's share with us. Let us learn more about what you guys have been up to the last few months that I've been doing these shawl mystery knit alongs. Um, all right. As a special thank you for sitting through this longer video and as I an apology for not doing a video like this in a while. Um, um, I have a hidden giveaway, and today I'm going to be giving away this beautiful yarn from Hobie. This is Cotton King's Sultan Yarn. It's 100% cotton, 800 meters, 875 yards. This is the color. As you can see, it's kind of a pink, pinky red to a red to a really beautiful red. This is, the color is... Uh, 16. If you, I'll have all the rules down in the description box below. Please make sure that uh, you can enter. Uh, and if you want to participate, uh, please put a comment below this video and put the word red. Put the word red and uh, I'll pick a winner. I'll put the date down in the description box below and um, pick a winner by using the YouTube random comment picker. Thank you guys again. I, I like doing these little heaven getting ways because um, 
you're the guys who watch my videos and it makes it means the world to me that you do so thank you guys so much for spending time with me letting me talk about all these yarns and projects that i really want to do and really want to get going um i hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's having a wonderful summer thank you again for spending time with me i hope to catch you all very very soon please take care of yourselves and i'll see you very very soon all right bye, -bye.